Okay, so this is my attempt at making a better video on the 13-speed Eaton Fuller transmission. Uh, this is the top of the transmission, and this is where the shift lever will go in. And so when you move the shift lever around, it will move these pieces back and forth, which on the inside will be what's called the shifting forks. So if I open this up, we can see that when you move the shift lever around, it will move these shifting forks. Now these shifting forks will turn, in turn, sorry, go inside here and move the sliding clutch back and forth. So now if we look in this transmission and all of these gears are in the neutral position, these sliding clutches are in the neutral position, and we turn power simulating power from the motor. This is your input shaft. The gears turn, but the sliding clutches do not, and there's no power flow out the back box of the transmission. So now what we must do is match the gear and the sliding clutch and with the shift lever. The RPMs are then matched with the gear and now that the sliding clutch is selected the gear we now have power flow out the back box of the transmission so this is why your rpm and your uh, the rotation speed are so important and why it's important to be double clutching to ease the transition back and forth and to be very careful with the shift lever and not ram the gears. You should never have to force it because that's in turn what you are moving around inside there. Alright, I hope that helps.